hi guys welcome back to the channel if you're new i'm victoria and in today's video we'll be making a flat collar shirt with short sleeves so i'm starting out with a basic bodice block i already drew my shoulder slope my armhole and all of my horizontal lines i'll now proceed to label all these lines starting with my upper chest line and next i'll be moving on to label my bust line and the waist line and the last horizontal line which is the full length of the shirt i'm just going to call that my hip line now of course the straight end of the pattern paper is going to be my center front and it will be caught on a fold and then there's a shoulder line at the very top of the pattern paper now i'm going to be creating the neckline for the front and i'll be using 3.5 for the neck width and the neck depth i'm going to connect the two points with my french curve before moving ahead to insert my horizontal measurements divided by four so on the upper chest line i already placed a quarter of my bust circumference and to that measurement i'll be adding two inches one inch for ease because i don't want it fitted and one inch for sewing allowance i'll do the same on the waistline i'll mark a quarter of my waist circumference and i'll be adding two inches to that measurement and the same thing applies for the hip line as well so now that i've placed all my measurements it's time to connect all these points so i'll be going in with my ruler and i'm connecting the upper chest line to the waistline and then the waistline to the hip line after that i'll be going in with my french curve to smoothen out that sharp end and then from the hip line i'll be coming up by 1.5 inch along the side and then using my french curve i'm just going to blend the hip line to meet that point like so so now i'm all done i'll just go ahead to add the allowance before cutting i'll be using one inch allowance along the hemline and a quarter of an inch along the armhole and shoulder slope so that's it for the pattern drafting i'll be using the same pattern to cut out the back piece as well since both we will cut on a fold so this is the fabric i'll be using for this project it's a very light crepe material i have about three yards of this because i plan to make a short as well so using the pattern i went ahead to cut out the pieces i'll be needing and this is the front piece and this is the back the only change i made for the back piece is in the neck depth instead of coming down by 3.5 i came down by 1.5 inches now back to the front piece the first thing i'll be doing is to go down from the center front by six inches so from the neck i'm marking six inches downwards i'm going to go in again with a pen to make it precise i'll mark the center of the neckline as well before i take out the pins and open it up then i'll be transferring this point to the right side or you can simply fold on the right side and mark the points directly it's simpler that way so now that i've transferred these points to the right side i'm going to mark in 0.75 on both sides of each point so i'm starting with the one below the neckline and i'm marking 0.75 on either side of that point i'm just going to connect it with my ruler like so before moving on to the neckline and i'll be doing the same along the neckline i'm going to be marking 0.75 on either side of that point and when i'm done marking i'm going to be connecting the two outer points together in a straight line so i'm just going in with my ruler to connect the points together like so now before i connect the middle points together i'm going to be coming up by one inch i'm just going to mark that point and then connect it to meet the neckline so after drawing out all the lines, I'm going to be bringing in these two rectangular pieces that I cut and fused with some interfacing off camera. Each piece is 3 inches wide and 8 inches long. And I folded each of them in two, as you can see, and gave it a good press. So now I'm going to be placing the open end of these rectangular pieces on the two outer lines like so and then i'm going to take this over to the machine and run a stitch on each one making sure to stop where the line stops and i'll be stitching about half an inch away from the open ends so first i'll be pinning it down because the fabric moves around a lot and then i'll begin stitching and after i'm done stitching both sides the next thing i'll be doing is to go in with my scissors to open up the center of the neckline making sure to stop just one inch before the end so now i'm opening up the center and i'm stopping at five inches and when i get to that point i'll be cutting in an angle towards either side like so 
so i'm cutting towards the end of either of the stitches but making sure not to cut the stitch open and when i'm done with that i'm going to flip this over to the right side so this is what it looks like i'm just going to give this a good press so it stays flat so i'm done ironing now i'm going to turn this over to the wrong side and i'll be running a stitch on the underside to prevent this part from coming up to the right side so i'll be holding it together like so then take it to the machine and run a straight stitch across and when i'm all done with that i'll be moving on to the back piece now for the back piece the first thing i'll do is to make a notch at the center of the back neckline before placing it to the front piece right sides facing each other and joining them along the shoulders once that's done i'm going to be opening up both pieces and folding them along the center back and the center front making sure the shoulder line armhole and everything else aligns properly so it looks like this I'll go ahead and pin both pieces down so it doesn't move and then I'll be taking the measurements along the neckline from center back to center front. So using my tape I'm measuring around the neck area and when I measured I got 11 inches and I'll be adding half an inch to that to get 11.5. So I cut out two rectangular pieces that I'll be using for my flat collar and it measures 23 inches long so that when I fold it it becomes 11.5 inches. And the width of each piece is 2 inches. Please do not add interfacing to these pieces or else it wouldn't lay flat. I took mine out afterwards. Now I'll be folding both pieces together so I can create a curve around the end. So I'm just going in with my pen to outline the curve before using my scissors to cut it out. And once that's done i'm going to open up both pieces and this is what it looks like next i'll be separating the pieces and then i'll be folding in about a quarter of an inch on one of the pieces and i'm doing this along the straight end so i'm folding towards the wrong side of the collar and i'm going to give this a good press and after doing that here's how it looks now i'm going to be placing this piece over the other one right sides facing each other i'll take this to the machine and stitch them together from one end to another so i stitched using a quarter of an inch sewing allowance and now i'm just going to turn this over to the right side so i'm just going to press this down so it stays in place and when that's done i'll be marking the area where the collar will be stitched down to the neckline i'm just doing this as a guide so i don't go in by too much when stitching now before attaching this to the neckline i'm just going to fold the collar in two and notch the center and once that's done it's time to stitch down the collar and i'll begin by trimming off the excess at the front before moving on to pin the collar around the neckline so i start pinning from the front and then i'm going to match the center of the collar to that of the back neckline and then i'll pin again on the other side of the front and as you can see i'm pinning in such a way that the markings i made is facing upwards so all i have to do is take this to the machine and follow the mark stitching all the way around until i get to this other part right here so after stitching here's what it looks like this is the wrong side so now i'm going to turn this over to the right side so to finish off the collar i'm going to be tucking in the excess like so and then i'll be making a top stitch from one end to another so when stitching i'll make sure to sew very close to the end covering up any visible seams and when i'm all done here's what it looks like you can see how nice it looks inside and out so we're almost done guys now it's time to attach the sleeves and i'll be going for a short sleeve you can make yours longer i already have a detailed tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve pattern i'll leave the link below so after attaching the sleeves i'll be turning this over to the wrong side to sew down the sides using a one inch sewing allowance and then finish off the hemline and when all that's done the flat collar shirt is ready so this is how it looks on me i really like how easy breezy it is i wish i made it longer though and i think the neck width is a bit wide three inches would have been okay other than that i'm good with everything else and i know i'll get a good way out of this so that's it we've come to the end of this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video